Hello everyone, this is Mr. Death in the Box here, and I am here to show you how to get a stupidly amount of points in arcade mode within Gears 3. Uh, first of all, you want to select the uh, Fortress 1 in Act 3, uh, Chapter 1, where you defend the fort. Uh, one of the mutators that I've unlocked is no ammo. Well, for this one, we don't really need to. Uh, need any ammo and uh, of course if you do this a lot you'll get the flower blood uh, mutator if you get the uh, silver amount of points I think it is I think it's called cog of war I don't know uh, we'll see by uh, about it uh, one thing about like a few mutators that if you've unlocked I would suggest is either friendly fire since while well, you don't really have anything in your way for the most part uh, active reload is also another one like you must active reload or the weapon jams and another one is either pinata or a big head but correct me if I'm wrong I'm not a hundred percent sure as big head mode would actually do anything in terms of hitboxes to the head because in this, we're going to do a lot of sniping. And uh, for difficulty, you want to select Hardcore, as it gives you a times 2 multiplier straight from the get-go. And uh, first up, right from the start, you would have to go right and pick up the grenades. And then you would go and pick your weapon of choice, I choose Lancer, there's a hammer burst to the right, and there's snipers right to the left on these stairs here. And for the most part, you're going to do the same path that I'm going to do, uh, mainly because uh, there's a few benefits over the other path to the right. Uh, you'll see them soon enough, but without further ado, uh, let's get started. Uh, so first up is the fact that uh, you're more protected on the left than or if you go to the left path than the right it's just the fact that you got this spot right here uh, majority of time when you get reavers and stuff uh, you they'll just go right past you opposed to hitting the wall behind you and you taking damage uh, another thing that I would really suggest, or you're going to see soon enough, is the fact that uh, uh, you should always, always, if you ever to pick up a one-shot, go into some sort of open ground, and then let it drop. Uh, the one-shot usually glitches out, goes into walls, start doing crazy shit, uh, but yeah. And for the most part, uh, your points are awarded by how you execute your uh, t uh, your uh, enemies there. Like for example, uh, headshot would do or would give you more points than just say like a standard uh, kill with a sniper, as it just you know uh, it's all dependent on execution rather than the uh, kill itself. Uh, right here, there's the one shot is like right on the uh, little awning there, and there's a uh, good sniper ammo. And uh, before the siege beast starts, you want to quickly grab the sniper ammo as you're going to be running out a lot of it by the end of it. And there is a few good sniping thing or sniping. Like, you could use this for a really good sniper practice. If you suck at sniping, this is a good way to improve your skills with sniping. Uh, mainly no scope, since they're the uh, primary range for no scopes. And also, to get the sort of uh, hit boxes of where you're supposed to hit people to get a headshot. Uh, like, for example, when someone takes cover. It, there's one part in the back or it, right in the uh, behind the neck that will go through and then counts as a headshot. So just 
you know, it teaches you about the hitboxes, no scoping, you know, all the great deal against, like, basic sniping stuff. Uh, the turret there is pretty much there to uh, rack you up uh, kills for the multiplayer in the uh, top left corner. And that's basically it for that. Uh, when the Siege Beats, like I said, when the Siege Beats shows up, grab the sniper ammo like crazy. Uh, and uh, try and waste off the uh, one shot or try and drag it back to uh, where the other one shot is. You want to leave that other one shot uh, where it is because it, you'll see the fact that there's going to be maulers and all that fun stuff. Uh, usually I like to throw nades down there and everybody cl clutters in while they're going into a sort of bottleneck and they all die, which is awesome. And uh, the reason why you should go this path rather than the other one Sorry, just had a cough there for a second. Reason why is the fact that majority of the AI will go on the bridge rather than the uh, rather than stick with you, with the exception to now. Like for some reason they like to stick with me, and also you could uh, pretty much flank them and get easy headshots on them for a uh, good amount of points. You know. Very re reminiscent of uh, Bulletstorm, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, basically you just keep no scoping the hell out of them. And continuing onward, continuing onward. One thing to note is that if you're not going to be able to get some, some of them, will go up the, uh, or climb up the uh, bridge there. And there's, you could uh, spot them, and it gets you a set amount of points, determining on your uh, uh, multiplier. And yeah, it gives you points. Who doesn't like free points? And if you don't get them, and your uh, AIs get them, or your friend gets them, you get points. Points, points, points. Everyone loves points. And uh, once you start clearing everyone out. Uh, there's going to be a massive horn blow. Uh, that means the uh, maulers and the mulchers start coming together. Uh, the obvious thing is to try and go for collaterals if you can. Uh, if not, the uh, major thing here is the fact that uh, it gets real hard at the start. But after a while, it like it's easy. And it should be uh, pretty good. Uh, this spot right here is a very good one uh, for trying to get collaterals. If you can, save ammo with your uh, one shots. So that like when you're uh, going to go do these, it's very easy to get collaterals. Like see that one right there. Perfect reload, active, lay down, and another collateral. It's very easy to get collaterals, and they keep coming and coming until you run out of one-shot ammo. And you, and if you run out of one-shot ammo and they're still coming, tar target the mulchers, not the maulers, the mulchers. You know, the ones with the, uh, no, no, I mean the grinders, not the mulchers, but they have, uh, the mulcher, you know, the... Rotating machine gun, which is what you really need. Uh, you'll see why. Uh, for example, when they breach the walls, all it takes is a few shots. Just one shot and they're dead. So you could just go around, kill them, and everything's all gravy. Uh, if you can, if you're like low on ammo, try your best to get sniper ammo because... Uh, you'll be doing a lot of sniping. Like I said, you, this is a good sniper practice level. And also good to get those Onyx uh, Arcade Medals, so they'll get you a lot of them. And, uh, yeah, there isn't all that much to say other than the fact that uh, stay alive as much as possible, you know, turret 
majority of them and uh, just try your best and hopefully you could beat my score uh, <coughs> I'll let it go and finish off for whatever amount of time and just and you know do the usual monkey see monkey do and study this video if you really want lots of points get through all those onyx uh, arcade medals and just get them earned and done but not unless this is Mr. Death in the Box signing out and remember waste your time wisely <laughs>